truth. Hey guys, it's Leshy and welcome back to another video. So today, as you can clearly see, we are in the new update. I know it's been a day after since it actually is live that this video is coming out. That's because my Wi-Fi is poor and it took 8 hours to do the update. Anywho, today as you all know, we're going to be playing Yagaroth and she's a new champion for today. And before, as I always do with every new champion, we're going to go to the stream range just to try her out, out a bit. Sorry. So we can try her out a bit and kind of understand. If you're a um, PlayStation, Xbox console player, we can do it together you know because obviously we have to wait patiently while the PC players have all the fun makes sense why but we're gonna try this out quickly because I do want to try how, her out and how she plays and get used to the fact that you're inside her mouth and such and such so we're gonna go straight into the shooting range make it really quick so we can do some matches with her okay so we're gonna go for corrosive acid and we're gonna go for the default talent for corrosive acid and obviously you can't move which is something weird because right now I'm trying to move and I can't and let's go to a party form and see how it looks so you can jump in it which is pretty cool I do love the look of Yagawoth I can't lie is is the most unique champion that ever been into our game and it's just pretty interesting the fact that she has two forms one you can't move and have one you can move like so and you have the accelerate right here and she can't go in a mount that's another amazing thing and you have r2 to release your pools of acid so obviously people can't essentially follow you and you don't have to worry about it hurting yourself like um if you know with um, ty's firebomb it hurts herself this doesn't hurt her at all so i am getting used to abilities right now but you have the r2 that has the poison and you have the l2 that has the quills I believe so you can do that and it melts like it melts through people's health pretty quickly and it's actually quite crazy and you have the hardening with L1 so you have that you hold it in for like five seconds by the looks of it still 1100 damage 1100 damage pretty crazy and I think um, for the quills it's best to aim at people's feet so if you aim at someone's feet you also get the Burst, so you'll mainly want to shoot at people's feet by the looks of it but I really like it let's go and ult someone see how it looks honestly if I'm gonna be real with you that is pretty sick I can't lie it's probably one of the best ults in the game some I know that some people don't like the ult as much it is slow it is a bit tedious I must say that you're just there waiting for like a good couple of seconds before ulting but I really like it personally and I feel like it is definitely one of the best ults in the game but definitely do know let me know what you think about Yagawath and I'm hoping I actually get her first match because I know everyone's gonna be trying playing her but yeah I do love Yagawath it's a pretty interesting champ I must say and it's different like it's not very similar to other champions like you can say the poison bolts essentially influenced by tyra but i feel like they were influenced by jogamando a lot more than any other champions in paladins because this is essentially jogamando in smite and i said this many times in um my previous videos on yagawa but yeah we're gonna jump straight into a match i feel like i've done enough here we're gonna do a siege of course and just try her out there I'm really excited for it uh, and that didn't do no damage okay <laughs> anyways let's jump straight to it well that's the same I didn't get Yagawa first try but we're gonna try in the next one hopefully I do get it but yeah hopefully we'll be able to get in the next round because Saudi didn't get in this round okay so after that oh, game I finally managed to, to kill Yagawa and you know what let's go for Grave Worm why not it looks creepy so yeah and we also got a new map and also um the new mount as well which is again another nice thing to add on as well so you can see actually i realized because i'm playing yagawa for one way to see <laughs> i forgot but we don't need to add any any of these let's get tempest 
on and let's also see the hello darling and the emotes we're going to be re re um, reviewing Yagoroth so why not and let's hope we have a good team on our side also really want to see golden Yagoroth because on here it don't look golden but on the actual skin when you're playing it's definitely golden so it looks like we're going to have a Yagoroth of course a Maldumba in Pip and a Tyra and we'll be up against another Yagoroth Maeve, Sky, Ceres and an Eevee so not too bad I must say I'm, I won't get melted apart from the Sky if she goes for um, debilitate but it should be fine it should be fine but anyways let's go and see how it goes okay because I'm not the best at making loadouts I'm just gonna go for the default loadout we're gonna go for I believe let's see what should we go for we could try this one on natural persistence and we can go for this one because we're mainly going to be on the point really so we have increased maximum acid capacity which is cooldown of right crowd control just cool down per person quills um increase efficiency or hardening okay and half it not too bad oh god pressing one i'm pressing one wrong abilities already so let's go and get um resilience Five, rejuvenate first four, i can't even speak three. gosh and let's go and accelerate forward it's really cool that you don't need a mount that is cool that is pretty impressive and let's go and get and i'm pressing wrong abilities already <laughs> but let's just put some poison bolts down here who's shooting me can you does anyone know where the yago is because i'm trying to find her oh there she is let's go and get the maid I'm just trying to find out who's where everyone is because I'm not used to not moving. But I got the payload, so that's good enough for me. Let's go and put these down so no one follows me. Okay, I got followed. <laughs> I'm not used to the movements. Like, it feels really weird. You're like, you have to press R1 to go in your form again. Like, I need to get used to the buttons. But Yagov is pretty tough. I feel like she can withstand a lot of damage. And you see, I keep pressing my hardening. I don't know why. I don't know what champion I play so much. Maybe it's um, Leon. Oh, uh, but me and Yagov have a 1v1. But it looks like I'm winning though. And it looks like I won that. And my Dom is providing amazing heals as well, which is pretty impressive. You know, you just get hit by someone, but you just don't know where it's coming from. Like, yes, I'm getting hit, but I don't know who's hitting me. Oh gosh. I got out of that. <laughs> the team is very, I would say, separate, if that makes sense. Like, Oh gosh, I wasn't ready for that. Yeah, the team is very separate, like no one's grouping up, but like there's one on the side, one behind, and I'm just like, can you guys group up please so I can see everyone? Like, good thing is I can ult by the looks of it and get away with it because they're not so grouped up. And I, and I press the one button again, don't mind me. But Yagov is re I'll say Yagov is hard to play, she ain't easy. And it's just weird trying to get used to her. I'm going to use this to save me. Oh, it didn't work. That was weird. Okay, I tried to get out of that, but that failed dramatically. But my ult didn't work on Maeve when I saw the triangle appear. I'm not sure if it's because I genuinely just missed or it's bugged. I'm not 100% sure, but that was a bit annoying. And I also forgot about this ability. Forgot that's a thing. Apparently. Oh, you can move. Oh. Oh, oh no, you can't move. I thought they had an ability that allows you to move in there. Let's try and get the. That's, that's dead corpses. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I thought there was someone behind me. I haven't played Paladins in a bit now. <laughs> so I'm a bit rusty, of course. I decided to take a few days off so I can just focus on other stuff. But actually, let me. Let's look at some emotes, of course. So we have. The normal emote right here, pretty rad, I must say. And we have the Hello Darling, which is pretty creepy, I must say. <laughs> you don't have that waving at you in the distance. Oh, 
I do love that. Let's go in our mobile form. I call it the Hot Wheels. And let's ride on forward. It is weird that you're faster than mounts. You're literally master riding free. <laughs> let's go around. Hopefully by in a few days I should be... Oh, go harder. Man, I missed again. I'm going to move away because I'm going to die soon. And I'm pressing wrong buttons again. I don't know why, but this is very annoying. But pressing wrong buttons is annoying me, I can't lie. Did she try to kill me? And that didn't hit me. Okay, we'll go get the Maeve. And the match is the match is not really as messy because when I've seen other people play Yagoroth, it's there's so much going on. It just looks very disgusting, very messy. Oh, my health is getting melted. I don't know why I went into that. That was my fault. I'm so stupid. <laughs> I was very dumb to do that. I am slowly getting used to her abilities. Even though I did go on the shooting range, I am still getting used to it, so please bear with me. Because <laughs> obviously everyone that has played Yagoroth was a PC player, so I can't really relate to anyone that's playing it. Unless they're some, a console player who decided to switch. I'm going to use that so we can see where they are. That's one way to kind of um, count it, Maeve's ult, really, without having to ult yourself. But I need to remember it's R1 and R2, R2 and L2 that I'm supposed to be using a lot more. Because I'm using other abilities a lot more, and I'm like, oh wait, I can't use that ability. That's not going to help me. But let's go, let's see if we can ult someone. I want to ult someone, for real. Let's go and... I press the wrong, ability, wrong button again. Let's go a bit safer because I'm close to death already. I'm sorry. I just have to. I just want to see you get eaten. Thank you. And I press the wrong ability again. <laughs> You're just going to hear me say I press the wrong button again. Let's go and get Yago off. I know we can definitely finish her off. Sadly got sadly lift. See another day. Okay, I died quick. Oh yeah, I forgot. Let me go and get some more abilities. Let's get Cauterize. Let's also get some Haven. And yeah, I'm playing really badly, but soon, in a day or two, I should be okay with Yagoroth. Let's go and Harden. Hopefully, um, I get some heals. Almost. <laughs> To be honest, the only person that's trying to do the most, I would say, is Tyra with the burn monster. Oh no, she's not even going burn monster. This is a weird setup, I must say. Seconds. No one's really trying to counter Yagoroth as much. I'll say the only people that are trying to counter Yagoroth is these two. On their side, and our team's not so much. The heals are not the best, of course, because Core Rise. So it's a lot harder. But let's try and get the Yagoroth down a bit. This is literally free damage for Sky as well, if you think about it. But I got the Yagwolf got taken down. And we don't have to worry too much, as long as I stay on the point, because I do get healing from being on the point. I can't see a thing. Let's go regenerate our thing. Let's hope for some heals. Yeah, sadly because we don't have that much heals. No one heals as much. That's why we're not going to win essentially. Okay, apparently you can just press it at any time you want. Yep. Sky is just literally um, camping there. <laughs> do we have a chance of capturing it? Nope, we do not. We're not going to win that, sadly. At least we can say we tried. And Zin's just... 
posing on over there. Bit of a shame, but I feel like I might just do one game and leave it at that, just to say my overall opinions, or I might do another game, I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, I might do another game, because I feel like that was a bit long enough, I don't want to keep it too long. But Yagov is a good champion, but I say that she's highly dependent on teams after playing her now. She's definitely highly dependent. You can't really do as much by yourself. Even though you can melt people's health, but obviously simple, they can heal from it. And it is pretty difficult. But she ain't the worst champion. Like she's pretty good. But from the stats here, as you can clearly see, we definitely underperformed highly. We weren't that good at all. We definitely struggled a lot. So you can see there's, um, we all struggled in general. Like no one did good like on our side and their team did really well like Ceres was good with the heals even though Maldumba did heal pretty well obviously it was undermining because of their quarter rise if that makes sense and Pip didn't heal barely at all I didn't even know he was going for mega potions to be real with you but yeah as I say I struggled a lot I didn't even know I got a kill to be honest <laughs> just found out now um Zane struggled a lot everyone here struggled a lot Sky did amazing, um, Yagov did great, Evie did amazing, 19-4 is a really good score and Ceres did good and also the Maeve did really well as well so it was just definitely our team was outmatched by their team by 100 miles I must say but anyways hopefully you liked this little intro to Yagorov I'm going to keep it nice and short so it could be out for you for tomorrow don't forget um, the next video that you guys see is um leon and then cassie and then i'm just going to do a bunch of videos covering champions most of them will be buffs some nerfs and some just having fun i definitely want to see ways of countering yagwolf because she's pretty fun i can't lie and it'd be pretty interesting so hopefully you guys have enjoyed today's video and yeah have a lovely day and i'll see you guys all next time bye bye mm -hmm.